Electronic warfare is the use of electromagnetic spectrum in an attack. Electromagnetic spectrum include everything in waves, radio waves, infrared, microwaves, x-rays, visible light, this all include in the electromagnetic spectrum. The only area where they differ is their wavelength. Electronic warfare is usually divided into three categories. Electronic countermeasures or ECM. Electronic counter countermeasures or ECCM. Electronic support measures or ESM. As we know, the radar emits signals that bounce off the aircraft towards the receiver of radar. The time, that signals takes to radar receiver, tells the exact location of aircraft. Today we will discuss the first category. ECM. It is what the most people think of. Jamming. Jamming by actively sending the barrage of electromagnetic signals to overcome the enemy sensors. Such as radars, communication lines etc. In jamming, the aircraft's jammer actively emits signals of the same frequency, towards the radar. So the enemy does not know if the signal it is receiving, are theirs, or fake ones. Some signals may arrive earlier, some later than the real return. As the aircraft is closing in and, and the radar is scanning 360 degree, emitting signals in all directions, the barrage of fake signals towards the radar receiver, would act as radar return from all around, hence, taking the radar screen with blip storm. Hence, the enemy wouldn't be able to use its radar to calculate the firing solutions against you. However, jamming doesn't provide you with full immunity either. The enemy would still know that you are there, somewhere, or in some cases, jamming would often alert the enemy in advance. Going back to jamming, there are some other methods of jamming as well, however, these methods are technically mechanical, and not electronic, but sometimes, these include an EW. Chaff can be referred as poor man's jamming. It was first developed by German Luftwaffe in World War II as a radar countermeasure. Chaff typically consists of thin aluminium strips, metallized glass fiber, or plastic, that is dropped from airplane. Or launched up into the air, these strips or metallized fiber, reflect radar waves, creating a massive amount of radar returns. Making it difficult for the radar to pick up the real target. Chaff is usually a defensive countermeasure typically used to distract the radar-guided missiles, whether they be anti-ship missiles or anti-air missiles, by showing them another target, which they hopefully will go for, instead of the real target. In the same category of chaffs, comes the decoys. Decoys are objects, that can be launched and presented as another target, to confuse the missile seeker, or enemy radar. Some of the modern aircrafts, carry these decoys which can be deployed with the hope of enemy missile hitting it, instead of the real target. For example, the ALE-50 tow decoy system is carried by U.S. aircrafts, like F-16, F-A-18 and B-1 bomber. There are other types of decoys as well. These decoys are small drones, which, after getting deployed from an aircraft, can fly off themselves, attracting the enemy's attention as real manned aircraft. Some of these small drone decoys, can emit radio waves themselves, copying that of manned aircrafts, deceiving the enemy further into thinking that the decoy, is an actual manned aircraft. In the modern day, the electronic warfare is as crucial as any other weapon of war. In fact, it decides the outcome of a battle. Today's modern warfare is all about situational awareness. As your enemy can pinpoint your location, or monitor your every movement, even by staying thousands of miles away, in a secure fortified bunker, and you are unaware of his moves, this would definitely take you with surprise and utter destruction. Thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting and informative, then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to get the latest updates.